Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I just wanted to share with you my top makeup travel essentials. Because right now I'm in Korea. If you guys, you know, don't really recognize, I'm actually in Korean hotel right now, and I love the room that I'm in. It's actually my fifth day. Tomorrow I'm leaving for Manila. It's been a wonderful trip so far, and the hotel namin it's really nice. It's very spacious. I'm actually with my college friend right now, and naligo na siya ngayon sa likod. Pero ayon, dalawang bed sa Korea na halal. Yung place mismo sobrang nice kasi malapit siya sa Myeongdong. Malapit it's like the center. Na sa center siya, so it's really easy. Meron siyang convenience store sa baba, tapos malapit siya sa train station, so hindi ka mahirapan mag-travel and mag ano mag switch places kasi as in sobrang lapit niya sa lahat actually parang nasa gitna kasi siya so if naghahanap ka and if first time sa Korea or naghahanap ka lang ng good place to stay and super ganda talaga as in sobrang nice I would highly recommend staying at Korean Hotel so nice but anyway for today's video ayun nga papakita ko lang sa inyo what I brought with me to Korea absolutely love all of these items that's why I brought them actually wait lang may kulang pa ako lipis first things that I brought with me are my Sunny's Face Fluff Matte Lipis in the shades Vacay Nudist and Bake pero yung Bake hiniram ng friend ko pero these lipis are one of the best lipsticks I've tried in general and I just really wanted to bring them with me because I like that powder matte finish. So perfect to sa mga taong kagaya ko na gusto nga ng matte finish. They're non-drying to me and I can handle their texture and the way they feel. Sobrang gamit na gamit ko tong lipsticks na to. Ito si VK, ito si Nudist. Um, just they're really travel essentials for me kasi they do it all. And I use them both on my cheeks, on my lips, on my eyes and they just do it all for me. So I need to bring these. These have been my go-to lippies for a while now. And this is the of my travel makeup bag. But I wanted this time around. I wanted to bring my essentials only, and I didn't want to overpack because I realized that I didn't really need a lot of makeup when I was traveling. Every time that I go to another country, I just wear the same look every time. So I didn't need to bring eyeshadows. I didn't need to bring like a lot of different things. So I didn't need to bring like a lot of different things. So let's start off with primer. I actually brought my Tatcha the Silk Canvas sample right here. I love this primer. It actually really does fill in my pores while moisturizing my skin at the same time. So this is really essential for me. And magaling texture niya kasi hindi siya super um, thick for a silicone-based primer, but it's really not that useless. Parang alam yung miginagawa pa rin siya. It's got a silicone feel to it, but it's more on the moisturizing side. So this has been really nice for me and I've been using that to prime my skin. For foundation, I wanted to bring something really handy and compact. So I decided to bring yung Super Face Zoom in Mesh Cushion and for the past two weeks now, ito lang yung ginagamit kong base product. As in, kung maglalagay man ako ng foundation in which hindi naman ako nagpa-foundation everyday na or something. Though thankfully, I don't use foundation nowadays all the time. Pero when I, whenever I do though, this has been my favorite kasi it covers a lot of my imperfections but it doesn't feel heavy at all. So gamit na gamit ko siya as in and wala lang, super. I just want to show you that I've been loving this. This is a great cushion, one of the best I've tried. I truly, truly enjoy this. Yung shade ko is 01 Light and I've been using that like all the time. And I feel like, um, I feel like if used alone, this is okay. This is enough. So I like that. Um, for concealer, I have come to the conclusion that ito talaga, this stands the test of time. It's my favorite concealer of all time. This is the Sim Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. My shade is 01. Hindi pala ako 1.5. 01 pala ako, guys. Natanggal na yung takip niya kasi parang nasira na yung takip niya kasi I use it like every single day. Sometimes as my foundation and concealer, sometimes as concealer alone, this does everything I want a concealer to do for me. So it's a staple, basically. I cannot live without this concealer. So I have to bring that Text. For powders, I brought two with me. One just like a translucent setting one, and I got the Rimmel Stay Matte powder just to kind of set all over my face. Para lang walang tacky sides. Para mas blend ko ng maayos yung bronzer ko. It's very lightweight. It feels like nothing on the skin. It doesn't really provide you with a lot of coverage, but does the job in terms of setting your face and um, not letting the oil peek through throughout the day. So I enjoy this. And of course, my Holy Grail powder in terms of giving my face that all-over glow effect and also just setting it overall is my CoverGirl um, Loose Powder, Professional Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Fair 105. They changed the packaging, but just get the um, Translucent Fair Loose Powder. I'm almost out of this guy and this comes with a lot of products. So saying that I'm almost out of it says a lot. 
it's my favorite one just to set all over the face because it gives me a nice natural glow. Um, na hindi sobrang powdery, it's where it's not gonna dry you out even if you have dry skin. You're absolutely gonna like this. Um, my skin right now, it's more on the combination side and I enjoy this truly so much. I really, really like that. It just, it's, I don't know, it just gives my face the supernatural glow I love. And then, I, nag-iisip ako kung ano yung palette or like bronzer, blush, and highlight na dadalhin ko. And I realized ko, I had it all in one palette. I decided to bring my e.l.f. Um, total face palette. Ito yung favorite ko din. Sobrang, I've raved about this on Instagram as well as my cover girl. So sometimes, I do like mini reviews over at Instagram. So follow me on Instagram para lang maka, you know, stay up to date kayo sa mga mini reviews. Kasi hindi ako nakakapag-update ng favorites ko sa YouTube all the time. Eh. Minsan talaga sa Instagram lang. But anyway, um, this e.l.f. Total Face Palette is amazing. It's got a great bronzer. The, wear, the one I'm wearing right now and it just does me no wrong, I swear. Um, hit pa na ako kasi lagi ko siyang ginagamit. And tapos meron din two blushes and one really subtle highlight. So you have everything in here and I wanted to bring something multi-purpose and yung tipong hindi ko kailangan magdala ng kahit ano pa. Pero alongside that for blush, I brought the For You To Love Me More in the color M12, I Want To Marry You. Just for yung parang gusto ko ng drunk blush effect. Cause yung sa e.l.f. kasi medyo light siya ng konti. Um, ayan, medyo lightish sila. Ito kasi mas deep siya. So, mas magamit mo to for drunk blush. And I've been loving this color. It's so pretty. And it's got this burnt, rosy, terracotta, brownish undertone. I love it. It's so pretty. The formula of these, blendable. Just really good blushes overall. And magandang formula. So, I had to bring that. In terms of pagila, I brought the Kathy Doll Light Chocolate Skinny Brow Pencil. That's the one I'm using right now. And it's... I mean, it does the job. I love it. It's very, I know, it's very reminiscent of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And it does everything I want my brow pencil to do because it's got a skinnier tip. So I can, like, draw in more precise lines with my brows. And I enjoy this. Um, and then my favorite setting gel of all time is my ColourPop Brow Gloss Gel. So it just, like, holds my eyebrows in place. I forgot to put it on. So, going us do It just, like, holds my eyebrows in place. And it just does no wrong. I promise. Guys, na may whitish base sha. I don't really find that it like alters my brow color or that it kind of adds like too much of a white cast. Like for me, this brow gel is my favorite. I love it. It really holds my brows in place. And shapes my brows the way I want them to look. My brows talaga na stay sila like that for the entire day with this brow gel. It's so good. And it's really affordable as well. So, you know, sobrang, ano siya, sobrang winner siya for me. For highlight, I had to bring in my favorite one from J-Cat. The Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadow in Dulce de Leche. It's got three colors. So, um, if I, I'm feeling a little bit more pinky, I'd go with this. If I'm feeling a little bit more gold, I would go with a golden one. So, I have a lot of choices. It's not too bulky. It does a job. And it's a highlight I have one right now. It's one of the best highlighters I have tried. Honorable mention pala dun sa Daiso sponge na ko. This is so soft. Tapos, binili ko siya. Meron siyang pack of 4 for 5,001 which is 250 for 4 sponges and this is so soft. It doubles up in size and I, I really enjoy this so far. But I brought the Beauty Blender Pro with me as well kasi it does a job for me. Like, I love the Beauty Blender Pro, yung black one. So, I had to bring that with me. Um... Eyelash curler ko is Shu Oimura, one of the best. It does a job for me. I love it. So I had to bring that with me. And then, of course, my heroin make long and curl. Super waterproof mascara. Kasi ito kahit umiyak ka talaga, hindi ka iiwan ng mascara na ito. So kailangan ko ng something na magtatagal throughout the day. And this one never fails. Um, pag mag-travel ako, ito lang yung mascara na dinadala ko pretty much. So, of course... It's a staple. Another tip if you're traveling, if you're planning to bring on like scents with you, just bring like these mini vials with you para at least pag naubos mo, tatapon mo na lang. Hindi mo na kailangan magdala ng tipong malaking big bottle or whatever. Just bring some mini vials or like samples like these. And I swear these will last you until the end of your trip if your trip is just like a week or so. I brought three ones from Replica. Um, by the fireplace, flower market, and beach walk. And all of these smell really nice. Pero kaya ko lang sila din nila kasi gusto ko lang nang yung tipong gusto ko lang madispose after kung ubusin or gamitin yung ganern. For my lips, I brought 
for other ones, I brought a couple of my 3CE Velvet Lippies. Um, I brought the shades New Nude, which is the one I'm wearing right now, um, in conjunction with another one. And this is in the shade Save Me, which is like a coral orange. So it's a nude, it's a coral. So really nice, lightweight velvet lippies. Na perfect for travel because you can retouch them anytime. Pagdali kang gumakain when you're traveling. Something like these would be perfect for you because they're very low key. They're very low key. And then the one I mixed in with New Nude is actually this. It's from Black Rouge. I love this. I could make an entire video about this. This is their. I don't know. It doesn't really say, but it's got the the red um cap on it. Um, it's A06 and this is the one I used to mix in with Nunu. Sorry, yung boss ko medyo paos pa ha. Pero, hindi ko alam bakit. Wala pa akong tubig. Pero, ayun. I mixed to the two colors and it created this Dito, napakita ko sa inyo. So, I think ginamit ko pang mix doon sa Nunu and it created the super nice Koreana effect. I love this. Ang dami nagkatanong sa akin kung anong ginamit ko. And ito yun, guys. Super ganda niya, I swear. Lastly, I also brought my Innisfree. Ano to? Innisfree, it doesn't really say. Pero it's like this long stick. Para siyang matte na lipstick. Tapos, yung shade niya is... Um, hindi ko mabasa. Hala. Hindi ko alam. At ganun. Just a matte stick from Innisfree. Something to retouch with. It's a very rosy shade. So, I got... I brought this with me kasi gusto ko lang ng... Um... Ano ba? Gusto ko lang ng differences. Gusto ko lang ng mga choices in terms of lippies. As for my brushes, I actually just brought my essentials with me. So, papakita ko lang sila really quickly. Highlighter brush from AOA. It's my absolute favorite. It's the one I use to apply my highlight. And it's the best one for me. So, I brought this because it's synthetic. AOA Studio F19 Best Highlighter Brush. Um, best foundation brush for me is my LA Girl 108 brush. Super multi-purpose kasi meron siyang angled tip to it so I can use it underneath my eyes on my entire face. This angled side is perfect. It just like fits my face perfectly. So I had to bring that of course. And then my favorite all-over brush. I bought this last time I was in Korea. Yung Innisfree na powder brush. This is its high cheeks. It was part of a set I got for really inexpensive when I went to Korea last time and I use this to bronze my face and it it's perfect. It's very fluffy so I wouldn't get like a very harsh bronzed look. I would get something like a diffused bronzy look. So gusto ko to kasi hindi at least hindi yung sobrang masashock mo lang ako. Sometimes I use it for blush as well for powder. It's very multi-purpose. I love it. And I also brought yung wet and wild na powder brush just to dust off yung loose powder ko. It's really nice, of course. All of these brushes are nice. That's why I brought them. And then yung brush ko for blush, yung Divisoria blush na nabili ko lang, na sobrang mura lang, Spectrum A05 pero I'm pretty sure knock off lang to. Maganda kasi siya kasi very fluffy siya. Um so tuk 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 tapos na yung blush, my favorite blush brush ever. And then lastly, um, my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation just to set underneath my eyes. Yung powder. And like dust off any like harsh powder lines or whatever. Um, this is a very staple brush for me. And then lastly, of course, of course, I had to bring a setting spray. And for my setting spray, I wanted something that did both for me. Like moisturize my face, um, prep my face before makeup application, and also set my face afterwards. So my choice was my J-Cat Primetime Makeup Primer Spray in Jasmine. It says it's hydrating and long-lasting. And it is both. Um, it's very hydrating. I use it as my moisturizer. I don't have moisturizer because this is what I use. And it does me well. Um, and it sets my makeup in place. And I love the mist. Wait, let me see. It's very fine. So, it's very good mist. It's very good. I love Jasmine. So, it's very good. It's very good. I swear. Then, every time I use it, I remember it in Korea for sure. And it's just a really nice solid setting spray. That is everything I brought with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very quick lang siya kasi I want to film in this setup. Um, have a nice spring light and everything. So I decided I would film my travel essentials and hopefully you picked up something from this video. And yeah, um, expect more videos soon. I know I've been on a break lately from YouTube and I don't know, medyo nawawala lang ako ng ideas what to do. Pero so far, marami naman akong mga ideas for my next videos. Abang-abang na kayo guys and sorry talaga akong medyo 
kulang ako sa YouTube ngayon. Feeling na nagkukulang talaga ako sa YouTube. And I hope you guys understand. But yeah, if you want to keep up with what I do, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Always listen down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Comment down below what you see. Comment down below what you want to see next from my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye!